1022 is going to be a big date coming up in the future and I'll talk about that later but relative to that date we're going to deal with the fact that today is 1013 and it's a Saturday and it's a weekly Google chart and we can take a look here that the $700 calls that went over here from their lows on 912 September 12 they went from let's just call it $20 a contract right up here to those highs of about $77 there was over a $50 movement $55 movement or close to a $57 movement in these options down here and when Google had support when Google broke out here on this weekly chart right at that 700 when it got up above here we went up one week three week we went to the all-time high to our target of 775 and then we've had a weekly reversal in all of these bull trend weeks and what that did was in the call side of the market the put side of the market that I'm going to show the same $700 put that was up here at $48 a contract went all the way down here to the all-time lows of what three dollars and ninety-five cents so when Google was breaking out on the weekly chart the puts went down in value and the calls went straight up in value here is the put side going down in value in the video at the time and we're looking at the fact that Google's coming up for earnings and it would not be abnormal in earnings volatility that once we get a weekly reversal this is an extreme bull trend and the earnings aren't going to be that bad on Google they're kicking on all cylinders but we're going to look at how we could steal this contract if Google was to sell down during the earnings we would look at how to come in and buy this contract and if they take if Google gaps down let's say forty dollars we would like to be able to buy this contract at ten dollars and fifty cents potentially and it's a potential setup and and that's looking at how inflated the seven hundred dollar call is from its uh, wholesale values over here back in 821 August of 2012 and that any upset in Google would drop these all the way down and we would buy them they're deep in the money another thing we're going to be looking at on Google during the earnings season is the 725 put they're at their all-time lows here they have a range in them they were way up here in the video you can see that there were forty eight dollars and that's a 725 put which means that Google starting Monday is going to trade either up going up into the earnings or it will continue to sell down into the earnings and we will know what the price volatility will be through Monday Tuesday Wednesday and going Thursday into the closing bell another thing we'll be looking at in these earnings on the opposite end of things is to take a look and see what that eight hundred dollar call up and out of the money looks like that's this call right here this call this call contract was inflated it's come back down to areas that we would like to buy up and out of the money now let me tell my MMT something and this is the call and the put strategy combination but for the earnings on a good earnings report and a big pop is what this price how do we get the entry down here look at the public bought it never sell up here so if we're buying down here going into the earnings report if Google sells down going into the earnings report and we could steal these contracts at a damn dollar down here we could buy up and out of the money eight hundred dollar call we can take a look at the other side of a 785 call this call was sixteen dollars a contract and this is all a, a, a monthly expiration but look at how look at they were at a dollar 83 and ran all the way up and they're still not inflated like they were but they're not on sell either so if Google sells down if Google sells down going into Thursday we can get these down here at around two and a half dollars we would like Google to sell down so that we can buy these calls that if Google does well that we're in that upside volatility look at the public owns them up here 
they were expensive at $16. Yeah, they've dropped $10 in value and they can go lower down here. But we're going to be looking at that scenario. Another scenario that we'll be looking at is this one right here. Up and out of the money, 775 call. They got inflated at $21. I'm sorry to tell you. They're not as inflated. You can see that. But I can tell you right here, they were on sale at $2 up to $20. It was an $18 move. And what we look at during the earnings is... If Google sells down, that means that Google has to come down and sell. So let's say Google sells down next week to 728 down here at the low end of that weekly bar. That would be a correction and it wouldn't be as overbought going into the earnings. So we're going to look and see how this thing trades. It trades one way or the other. It has a trading range for four days until they finally release the number. And I can tell you that the strategies over here is if Google sells now, we want to get that up and out of the money call at the cheapest price. We'd like to get them down here. If we So Google, the name Google has to sell down much lower going into the report Thursday. If we could sell down here to 725, 720, drop another $20 going into the earnings, that's going to take these down. That's where the upside volatility for that bull case that you want to buy them wholesale again. Yeah, we traded them up in here, sure. But look at going into the earnings, this is part of the scenario that we're going to do with the MMTs as far as the setups go in the volatility side. The 770 call up and out of the money for the earnings. It's not as inflated at $25, but when we get into the earnings or the day after, what if Google disappoints and these come all the way down here? It could happen, but nonetheless, is how do I get this on sale? Google has to continue to sell down for this value to drop. We'll be looking at how it trades Monday. We'll be looking at how to steal the put option because you want puts just in case. That's this one here, the $700 put below the market. <clears throat> we'll see what kind of price we can get this at. Then we'll have up and out of the money call. That's going to be this over here. Let me go to the daily chart. Let's take the seven, let's say 785, because if depending on where we close, this number, this strike can change. But we'll take a look that if we have to buy these puts ahead of time and they want to go up in value and these want to drop in value, if these keep dropping in value, then these are going to go up in value. And we would buy them and sell them. If they sell Google down, they go up in value. Then we buy up and out of the money down here because we would be making enough money on this side based on each daily trading range going into Thursday's report on Google. So we have a complete analysis of strike prices we're going to use. Now, the way that the equity trades going into Thursday, these strike prices are going to change and maybe some of the scenarios will change. However, the way that it stands in the very short term, these are the up and out of the money type scenarios that we're going to work with. But also below the marketplace going into the earnings on a volatile name is, does Google come out and say something that would cause a sell down and then a big buy off of the bottom? And it's all about how do I manage and pair my risk using call and put structures relative to the big bull run with one weekly reversal. Remember, one thing about Google, everyone, there's a report out that came out on Friday and it's called antitrust case is being reviewed again by the federal government against Google. That's what got this distribution down on Friday and we were overbought. The weekly bull run, there was no distribution. Just like Apple, when it makes its highs, we get it short and we tell people at times to short Apple because it has to go way down. And Apple drops over 75, about $75, close to it, $60, $65 off of those highs. Well, Google is a better mover. It has more of its early bull in it than Apple has a long bull in it. And this is just in the beginning phases of its new bull. So buy the dips, sell the rips. It's all going to be about which pricing control mechanisms I use over here in this 
area so I can be involved in the earnings play up and out of the money and I can be below the money. So if it falls on a, on a report short term, I make a lot of money and I'll make more than I lose on the upside. Because if I'm wholesale to both sides, if I lose $2 on one side and I make $10 on the other, I still make $8 and I can be on both sides of this risk is what I'm trying to tell my MMTs. And that this is going to be the bellwether and the trade of the week will be Google earnings out of all of them. Yes, we're going to do IBM. Yes, we're going to do lots of the other ones that I talk about. But this one here is going to trade starting Monday. Either the calls are coming way down and the puts are going up or the puts are going way down. And the, if we depends on what it wants to do, we'll take the trend in the short term. But what we're saying is the volatility on Thursday after the close is where the next morning is where you can get the best prices in these. Meaning that these are tradable going into the earnings and you can hold them overnight, but you don't hold them overnight if you don't have a put and up and out of the money call for the earnings. And I'm going to conclude trade of the week, fourth quarter result of a new bull that has been recreated in Google. And that by having the values between retail, which is inflated, and wholesale, which is deflated for market makers like us that take these movements to make big money, is that you can do it too. And once again, here is a daily chart on Google, and I'm going to cap it this way, that if you look down here where the 50-day moving average is, you'll notice at the S&P, you'll notice that Apple went down and broke its 50-day moving average on its daily chart. Google, right above that same 100 level, which is right about that was weekly levels that I show, it would be good to come down here and test that. But, you know, they execute well in the model. Fourth quarter earnings are on track. They look good to the upside because they do. There isn't anything that's showing in a slower growth environment that Google could have that big of a headache, but there could be just enough to create new buying opportunities and earnings after hour volatilities or something that the street didn't like that they would sell it down, but the buyers will rush right back in on the dips. And that's the most important thing going into this particular quarterly earnings forward looking in this name is, is that on the pullbacks and volatility, wherever it comes from, antitrust case, it doesn't matter, earnings, it doesn't matter, you're going to want to buy those dips. But you're going to want to be involved in the daily ranges until those quarterly report comes out on Thursday. It will be Thursday this week. Stay tuned.